and gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Uh, welcome to another episode of Accountability Conversation. Today it's a special, special conversation. We're just looking at uh, education system uh, during this period of lockdown. I'm being joined by Ukojias. Yes. <laughs> so, can you introduce yourself? Um, hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you doing? My name is Jolie Jane Shofu and um, I'm a teacher by profession. Wow, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, today is uh, school my education uh, and all this stuff. So as I was friend, it's a general bias. Yeah. So when uh, on your perspective, what do you think about the system, education system during this period of field time? Well, um, there were a few challenges. That mm -hmm. would be the truth of it all because um, we tried to reach out to every kid out there. Everyone was um, included, though we tried to include everyone through online education and uh, TV programs, radio programs for children to learn. And also, you know, with Faster Lilabatan, please help your children at home. Um, reach out. You also know your child as much as I know your child. So easy for us to work hand in hand. So you, you were talking about our challenges. you are my challenges. You are facing our challenges. You are facing our teachers. Okay, I'll give you an example. I teach in the rural areas. So ubuze ufinye lele wongumtu anose klasi kunzima. It's really difficult because there are some children who really don't have a radio at home, and some who don't even know what a TV is. You understand? So it's quite difficult to reach out to those particular children. Those were the first challenges, and secondly, the ones who are in the urban areas, you give the child data, you give the child a phone, you say reach out to your teacher. Talk to your teacher, it's time for you to have your lesson. It's not the only thing that they are going to be doing on the phone. You mm. understand? Mm. You might find that a child is busy streaming and watching movies while it's time for him or her to learn because they know they'll go back and catch up on the messages on WhatsApp from the teacher. No, like, this, you know, when it comes to Indaway online, Indaway online, now we have a lot of people who are doing it now. You have a lot of people who are doing it now. So, you have a lot of people who are what do you think of online learning? What do you think of what are? Online learning, mm -hmm. um, and as much as we were trying to be moving with times, mm -hmm. it is child because it further exposed our children to a lot of things. When our children when our home we are touching data, who's like it? Our money we are touching data, we are switching off from that part. I have a book called ISH. But now I think I have a book called his name is in that section. La la. So I can soon as they read. Okay, so. This is what I can do. This is what I can watch, other than what I'm supposed to be researching about. Scientific question, buze, human organ part, some organs, some body parts. We don't assess and get our Google. What do they need? Yeah, but then they get derailed. We don't and then say, "Kasu bone is nizi." It got them exposed. Those are part of the challenges. The exposure to some of the things that were uncensored for them, and and then also. Um, drip down to the final, the last route of Abantu and Maka. Those were the major challenges that I saw and I faced as a teacher too. So, as a teacher, do you think are there is there anything that uh, should be done to prevent the challenges on the lab? Basically, there is. <sighs> It's a difficult question, Jay. I would like to okay. a difficult question. Uh -huh. Because you can't restrict Umtuan from a place that for a tola kona something you can't teach them. Do you understand? Yeah. And Umtuana has that right to, 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 to access the information. And yes. that's the first problem that you might face in trying to fix this problem, aren't you? Yeah. But at the same time, parents should be aware of what their children are visiting the sites they are visiting uh in Dabas Google. You'd rather go through the lesson Ulontuana. Sit there, let your form for child go through their lesson while at least you monitor what they are looking into. 
That's the only way you can try to control and curb this. But at the same time, again, food you have to cut the lapun she has to say is more work. Yeah, on the other hand, you must go more or wrong. Exactly. Usu 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 mta telephone usu mzonda. Usu mzonda. Usu abusive. Yeah, go. So do 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 you think we 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 misinterpret our rights or as you are total? It's correct. And about about two. Usani. About two ana. They I can say they literally don't know their rights because they totally misinterpret what they are given to them. They understand. Yes. Umtana is told that it is your right to 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 lay education. It's your right to be taken care of, and then they intend, but after that thing, then they use it against their parents. You understand? They intend abuse themselves. They misinterpret them. They don't live up to the responsibilities that come with those rights, because they think, okay, fine, just because saying was who's kurume, la saying kwa nisa logiambo pisa, saying kwa nisa logiambo so I can now do this. Yeah, what? So, Amanda and literally put some in it. They are so ignorant. It's, it, I won't lie. It's a it's a bad word that I used. But they are ignorant. But that's the truth. That's what comes because me na mteng kuli so kuli so Yeah. Do you understand? Ben shai. Ben ma shai. Me na me na pa me na me na mkuula since in January six o'clock. And you had to make sure we would elite in that city. Ka. Ususi ya show show ya ipora ipora ichi. And of when you know, we was this one who just could eat it. social affairs going to You know, a mass of right now, to an early three or five years, such a mass of it, such a mass of it. So, because when the city muscular, you know, you come back after school, you are watching the socks, you are cut, you are polishing the others, and we are about by homework. So, go to Pumsia Jalipon. But nowadays, we will not have a late engine. Now, Buzati, I was doing my homework. Which up to until this time, after to some abuser, you're shouting at me. Do you understand? So we lost it there, also as parents, and the children they also misinterpreted it. Worse during the COVID nineteen, at least they were getting a bit of discipline as all. You know, iskolo, iskolo sonangwaso is a safe house for children. When it's open, when schools are open, children, children are safe. Partly because you know there is that discipline. Because it discipline you have to enforce it every now and then, so that umtona azanja, I totally embrace it. It's self discipline. But then when they are at home, about the lagabe kola, you know most of the parents they in the diaspora. So basically, there were child aided families all over the nation. Poor Sengi, you understand? And there were also about the best life lagabe kola. And if you never tell them, you know they they are on problems. They were dealing with their own problems. They were during the COVID nineteen. So, Uti, people probably like they, to a certain extent neglected them. So, so how do you think Uti he period the COVID? How how did it affect the education system? It was a negative effect. I won't lie to you, because right now, if you look at it. Some of the children are back in class, and you see the videos that have been posted. You, you know them. You see them every day. Yes, yes. The videos, the pictures, <coughs> everything that has been posted. Umtoana has been affected. They think now they can do certain things that they weren't able to do in school because Babu get a movie. They they watched <laughs> American <laughs> movies. It's very painful. It's they watched painful. movies and they saw that uh, some kids in America are doing this at school. So probably we can also do it and get away with it. So one, who will never believe ya, but underminer the authority of just being in a classroom. Secondly, also Amanduan, you know, um. As a teacher, I have a certain relationship with the student that I teach. Do you understand? Yes. I know that my child lacks in this, and my child lacks in that. But that a person who's presenting the program uh, on ZTV does not necessarily know my child. Does not know that I have to speak slowly for that child to actually know that my teacher is saying this and understand it and grasp the concept. You see. Yes. So. Those with that was the other challenge. That the person on the other side of the camera does not necessarily connect with the children they are teaching nationwide. Yes. Because you can't do that obviously over a television screen. And then thirdly, um, 
children um, lost track of their control for time and their control for many other things. Focusing back on us. So, 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 can I ask, can I ask a question? How, how will it affect you as a teacher? Say the way that is called. Uti, the way back to the syllabus. We understand what as soon as we click to go for a time frame and corner. It's, it's, it's very short. Do you think as a teacher, I would never say, did I see that person or would we catch up around her? Honestly speaking, that would be a miracle if we finish the syllabus. Mm. It would be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it would be because um, school stopped. We stopped going to school mid March. Yes. We were still beginning the syllabus. And not all the children will be able to grasp what you are teaching because Bachian, they are diverse. There are people who naturally have to sit down and think for a very long time for them to understand one concept. And then there is a little way who is very fast in catching and grasping everything. So the time frame is really small, I won't lie to you. I, we just have to pray for our children to actually pass. But what we have to know is that the coming years now, we have to go back and reteach them what they were supposed to know right now. Because if we don't, they won't be able to, even the best of the best children will have difficulties in grasping because you are, you are racing against time. And time does not feel pity for men. They feel pity for us, maybe for the children, and maybe, maybe, this is just a maybe, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe they postpone the exams, you know, to probably a later date. But though the truth is, you can't cover six months work in just one month. When we six young in a one, it can't, it can't, <laughs> it can't. Yeah, it can't. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are your last words as we are closing the show? What are your last words to the students? Okay, fine. To the students, mm -hmm. guys, I know that you are under a lot of pressure. One, you want to achieve a lot of dreams. You've got dreams, you've got goals. You want to impress your parents. You want to show the world that you are able to do certain things that we thought you couldn't do. But then before you do whatever you want to do, sit down and think about it. Is it worth it? Ten years from now, will it help you when you are actually applying or doing that low degree? When that picture comes up or when that video comes up, when you are actually a leader, a world leader, trying to get a position in the United Nations, how is it going to look on your resume? Because our past always comes back to haunt us. So be careful with what you do. Make wise choices. I know you guys are capable of doing it. Yeah, believe me. You wouldn't be in this particular level if you wouldn't be able to do what you're supposed to do. You're great. Keep on shining. As I'm tempted to do the pillow fight. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Catch us again next time on our YouTube channel. Okay. Choo -doo. Choo -doo, choo -doo.